Q episode 15. We got our flag. And we got the approval of the one girl. <laughs> Do you feel the support? It's all it takes. It's all it takes. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> over the top, but so great at the same time. What does she and Makima have in common? <laughs> Feels like a new day, new chapter. Honestly, I think the first half of this season felt sort of like a prologue in a big way. They're all thinking it. I've been saying for a while that like I'm most excited to see this for the senpai. The stakes are a little bit higher for them. Poor guy, he just wanted a romantic moment with the bros. It's kind of funny because he's sort of a really nice and sweet guy. But with a quiet intensity. Look who got there first. Oh, we got a new opening! Hell yeah. It feels a little bit less playful so far and more high stakes to match what I expect is coming soon. This is going to be a competition arc and lots of bro respect. I actually don't really know what to expect in terms of the timing. Like, I don't know how how much the rest of season one will cover. Just judging by the episodes that have come before, feels like we won't get the full tournament in season one. There's not enough time for all the required talking to our rivals and growing as people. Episode 15, Revival. Oh, we got a big storm coming. Right. I really do feel like this image helps them though, helps that team. No one expects anything. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting something volleyball related. What? Oh, I see. This is expectation versus reality? I love you. <laughs> I love you more than anyone will ever love you. And that's all that matters. Yeah, it's a huge understatement. Even though we already know them, it's a nice touch to see the other school or other team's perspective on them as they walk in, you know, their first impressions. I actually was thinking about something related to this, how there's this huge disconnect between reality and, like, the, the perceptions people have at first glance. This might sound so basic, it's not even worth saying, but it felt like an insight at the time I was thinking it. Because I was out with two girls I know, and guys kept coming up to approach them, and I was having fun kind of observing the, the guys, and I was seeing how nervous they were, but that was weird for me because I know the girls really well, and, like... <laughs> This is not, a, this might sound like an insult. It's not an insult. There's nothing to be nervous about, you know? Like, they're human beings. They're just people. But then I was thinking, that makes sense. It makes total sense. If I go up to a new person, especially someone I'm attracted to, for example, I'm immediately imbuing them with all these qualities that are unnecessary. You know, they might be great, but at a certain fundamental level, there's no one that isn't human, if that makes sense. I guess it's less of a concept that makes direct sense in words, but there is like this neutralizing feeling I got from observing that, from thinking about that. Like a fear neutralizer. <laughs> But they might want to keep up this mystique as long as they, they possibly can use the fear and the legend. I think I know what he means. Date tech. Yeah, they look intimidating, but you know. We know they're all sweethearts who love volleyball. Sweethearts who love volleyball. Or maybe not. Maybe not a sweetheart. I bet this is two sweethearts staring each other down. That's what this is, isn't it? This is all the strength he could muster, just a point. He thought about this and sweated all night. Sometimes aggression masks a, a secret fear. Tsuki looks so unimpressed. I mean, he picked the right target for emotional intimidation. Daichi feels like a man. He doesn't feel like a high school kid. From the beginning, he's always felt a little bit more adult. More adult than most adults. A lot of it is their own fear being projected into what they see. Yeah, you just let that slip. But all that matters is what happens on the court. Yeah, 
This is interesting. We're following the girls' team too. I wonder how closely this will relate to Daichi's arc. Damn, I know that feeling too. Yeah, just trust in the work you put in. I still love how it's Daichi that kind of triggered all this. Just his essence inspires greatness. It's tough, man. I mean, he's been dreaming about this his whole life, and it's here. How long until he gets hit in the face with a volleyball? And run away. <laughs> We've been down that road. The scariest moment is... Not that. Nope. I mean, that was pretty scary. Yeah, there it is. Damn, I'm like... So nervous for this match. I mean, I know they're gonna win. I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna win. Just because we've, we've introduced so much, so much of the enemy roster and lineup. But there's just something about it, due to the fact that it's real competition, that just makes it feel so much more intense and dramatic. I mean, he's got his own stress. There's a lot of eyes on him as well. There it is. <laughs> Their faces are so great. <laughs> it's amazing how much that did for them. They just go to a warm place every time they see it. They put so much detail into their faces, their expressions. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, it's pretty amazing how much they improve between the practice matches. <laughs> Only volleyball. Volleyball and nothing else. They put the Haikyuu philosophy on t-shirts. He's so on edge. Not an ounce of anything like we just from Daiichi. Nothing. Just total focus. And leadership. Tsuki also awfully quiet. Here we go. How many people come out to support... Kurosano. No lies were told. Yeah, use that chip on your shoulder. Are we gonna get any game this episode, or is it just gonna be set up in cliffhanger? They're gonna know soon. They've learned. Wow, it's really happening. <laughs> you know who to go to. Give it to your bro! Oh, interesting. I expected him to choose Hinata. <laughs> Damn, I love it. Yeah, their, their look of fear on their faces. Use it. Just use it. That girl biscuit made him drowsy. Yeah, they haven't even seen the what is perhaps the most terrifying part of this whole thing. It would be sort of satisfying if they just blew right through this team. Nice shot. <laughs> Why does it feel so good? Not so tough now. I mean, they are legit terrifying, even knowing them. When they're this focused. Hell yeah. And new ending. Very understated so far. Very ka Kagayama cent centric. I was about to say it feels kind of lonely, but here comes the team. Or maybe just Hinata? We'll never know. <laughs> Who knows? Wow, does it feel good to actually be in tournament play and to see them all be so amazing. One thing I've appreciated about the show from very early on is just how quickly they develop, how fast they move. They're not the same kids that they were at the start of the show, none of them, except for maybe Daichi. But even he's grown. I mean, he, he feels more inspired, like he believes again. I think they all realize on some level that they have something special. They have something really special. One realistic part about this, I think in something that is this mer meritocratic, like a sports team. You know, hard work is important, but there are things you can control and things you can't control. And I think a lot of times, some of the most important things are the intangibles. What's great about this show and the setup is that one of the intangibles is that this is a near perfect assembly of great people who want it. And even if they're not there quite yet by themselves, they are the kind of people that will get it when around the right people. I mean, it's everyone. It's the whole team, except maybe Suki, at least not yet. But it's also the, the coach and maybe most bizarrely, 
their their club teacher, their club supporter. I don't know what you call his role. Basically dropping his, his whole teaching career for their volleyball team. So the setup is a combination of both a kind of luck in the sense that it's just who happened to show up without taking anything away from the inspiring nature of the fact that they're all people who will rise to the challenge. That's sort of where it's at. And it's really fun to watch them realize it. It's really fun to watch them understand what they have. And in this episode especially, to see people around them start to recognize. And that's only gonna increase as time goes on. And also they're gonna keep growing. It's kind of a perfect storm. You know, this is following the story of a perfect storm of really amazing kids who have heroic qualities. I mean, it's not a hero show per se, right? But it doesn't make it any different. It doesn't take away from any of that. It's it's their qualities. It's their ability to introspect and grow, their ability to focus, their ability to work hard, to sacrifice, to understand core values, to see humanity in others, even their opponents. There's just so many things, so many things that they have. We didn't get much volleyball this episode, but it's already a really, really great start to what I'm sure will be a very, very thrilling tournament arc.